Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Please ensure that the entire day and beyond, you keep your thoughts and your mind absolutely focused on Jesus. No matter the distraction that comes away, keep your focus on Jesus. Do you know why? Well, it's because the Bible in Isaiah 26 verse 3 tells us that the Lord will keep us in perfect peace if we can ensure that our thoughts are focused on him. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you so very much. We will not be tired of saying thank you for all the wonderful things you constantly do in our lives. And so Lord, I lift your people that are connected and listening today, Lord. I ask that you release the grace. Help us, Lord, to keep our focus focus on you irrespective of the distractions of daily life thank you that in accordance to your word you keep us all in perfect peace in jesus name amen we'll begin today by looking at our focus scripture luke chapter 9 verse 23 if you've been listening to our devotional this month you know that for the past two weeks or thereabout we've been talking about this particular scripture we've looked at it a lot and this scripture in Luke chapter 9 verse 23 is where Jesus was teaching about the various aspects of discipleship. And that scripture says in Luke chapter 9 verse 23, reading from the NLT version, it says, Then he said to the crowd, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily and follow me. That's NLT, but King James puts it this way. He says, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. So essentially, Jesus was so telling them the aspects of discipleship. He was telling them what they need to do if they really want to be his disciples or if they really want to be his followers. Now, this scripture, as simple as this verse is, it has a lot of implication. What it simply means is this. If you claim to be following Jesus, you must first of all decide to stop living a haphazard life. What does that mean? It means you're going to have to stop saying, you know what, I'm not going to do what I want to do anymore. I'm going to pay attention carefully to what Jesus has asked me to do. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. It also means you have to decide to deny yourself. Just like NLT puts it, it says you must give up your own way. So you're going to lay aside your pattern of doing things. You're going to lay aside your method of doing things. You are going to look for Jesus pattern of doing things and you are going to do it. You are going to let go of self. You're going to deny yourself. And then thirdly, you are going to take up your cross, meaning you're going to pay whatever price your obedience to Jesus will cost you. You're going to pay whatever price your allegiance to Jesus will cost you because the truth is that it will cost you. You might lose some friends. You might even lose some job opportunities. For instance, if you work in an organization where you have to lie if you're going to stay in that organization, you know, there are certain professions that you just have to tell a lot of things that are not true. If you work in that kind of environment, you know you can't work there. No matter how much they are paying you, you can't work there and still be a Christian. Because what it means is that every day you go to work, you're going to be disobeying God per second. You're going to lose quite a lot of things because of your commitment and your allegiance to Jesus. And so those are the aspects of discipleship that Jesus talked about in verse 23 of Luke chapter 9. But then what it means is this. You cannot follow Jesus unless you do this three. Meaning that there are many people who are in the kingdom of God, but they are not followers of Jesus. There are two different things. You can be in God's kingdom. You can be a child of God, but you are not a follower of Jesus. How do I know? Well, Jesus made it very clear. He said, before you think of following me, you have to first of all, give up your own way, then take up your cross. And he said, and follow me. So following Jesus is the fourth in a list of things you have to do in sequence. First thing is you have to decide that you want to be a follower of Jesus. Second thing is that you have to give up your way. Third thing is that you have to take up the cross. The Bible says, and then follow me. So you don't just wake up and start following Jesus. The Bible says you have to follow this sequence. You have to be able to do these things that he has said. And then you can now claim to be a follower of Jesus. This brings us to a very 
crucial question. And to answer this question, you have to sit down and think very carefully and deeply. You really have to meditate before you come up with the right answer. What is that crucial question? The question is simple. Are you just in the kingdom of God or are you a follower of Jesus? Let me give a practical example. You know, you can have 20 students in a class, but only five are actually following the teacher. Every assignment he gives, they pay attention to. They do the assignment, they turn in the assignments at the right time. If the teacher says, lift up your hands, they will lift their hands. If the teacher says, read XYZ book, they will read the book. But you know, in every classroom, you have those two, three, four students who may be in the class, but they are not followers of the teacher. They don't do the things that the teacher has said. So the same way too, in the kingdom, there are people who are in the kingdom, but Jesus made it clear that they might not be following him. Because following Jesus is a fought in a series of sequence. Now, the Bible tells us in Isaiah 26 verse 8, it said, Lord, we show our trust in you by obeying your laws. Our hearts desire to glorify your name. So meaning that if you are not obeying the laws of God, what it simply means is that you do not trust him. And how can you claim to be a follower of Jesus when you don't even trust Jesus? So what it means is that if you have an opportunity to be angry and to slap somebody and you say, you know what, I'm not going to do it. What it means is that you have chosen the law of God, you have chosen the way of God and what it means is that you trust God. If somebody has offended you and you say, you know what, the Bible says, leave vengeance for the Lord and you actually leave vengeance for God. What it means is that you trust God because when we go out of a way to disobey God, when we fight for ourselves, when we want to show ourselves, what it means is that we do not trust God, we trust ourselves to make things work and it can happen you are limited in your ability to execute wisdom you are limited in your ability to make things right which is why jesus said if you are going to be my follower you have to give up your pattern of doing things you have to trust me and the way to show me that you trust me is that you are going to obey the different things that i have asked you to do in the word so i'm going to ask us again. Are you just in the kingdom of God or are you actually a follower of Jesus? God forbid that your answer would be that you're just in the kingdom. By the time you review all these things, you will notice you are just in the kingdom and that you are not a follower. But the good news is that you're still alive, you're not dead, which means you can change from today. You can say, you know what? I choose not to be in the kingdom anymore. I want to be in the kingdom, but also be a follower of Jesus. I don't want to just be in the kingdom, doing what I like, seeing what I want, having my own pattern of doing things. I want to be a follower of Jesus. That means I'm going to look at the word of God, whatever Jesus says, no matter what I'm going to lose, I'm going to do exactly what Jesus says. That's what it means to be a follower of Jesus. It means to obey every single thing that Jesus has asked you to do, and that shows that you trust Him. Thank you for listening. God bless you. For other life changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram, all on the handle Oyeks Alfred.